Hey, everybody watching at home. My name is Jordan Plosky. I am the co-founder and CEO of Zoop. And joining me today are the two co-creators of our latest campaign, Corner Man. So on my screen, you see Chris Robinson. Say hello. Hey, what's up, guys? And also Ray Anthony Height. So these are two, these are two guys who have been in the comics industry for quite a while. We'll tell you a little bit about their backgrounds, and then we're going to discuss what Corner Man is and why you should be supporting it on Zoop. Um, Ray, let's talk about you first. If, if you can give us a little bit of that list of, of projects you've worked on that people may know you from, um, roll okay. it out. Let's hear it, man. Uh, let's see. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, um, X-Men Blue. Uh, let's see. Uh, X-Men Wakanda Forever. Um, what else? Uh, I did an, an issue of Scarlet Spider. I did um, a bunch of other stuff, but yeah. And uh, Midnight Tiger, of course. Excellent. And Chris, let him have it, man. What have you, what have you been doing in your comics career? <laughs> uh, so, so many things. So uh, I, I, was a, a, I was a Marvel editor for many years, Domino. Um, uh, obviously, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, which is where I know Ray from. Uh, Marvel's Voices, the the first one. Um, so many things over the years. It's uh, it's been a blast for sure. Yeah. Excellent. And so now the two of you are collaborating on a new project, a new creator owned project, I should say, uh, called Corner Man. So what was yes. the the origin or the genesis of that? I, you know, I, I'm assuming it, it was with Ray, but you guys can correct <laughs> me if I'm wrong. Ray, you want Chris, to give us a little of the story? I was going to say, Chris can tell the story. I think we recently did another <laughs> interview where I told the story. Sure. So we're, we're switching off. Yeah, let's mix, let's mix it up. Let's like let's do like a handoff, like kid and play thing. Sure. Okay. So, I know, right? Uh, let's see. Like many months ago, Ray comes to me and is like, I got this crazy idea. He pitches it. I'm like, that's crazy. It sounds cool. Uh, and then uh, we go off the next day. He's like, I got a different crazy idea. <laughs> <laughs> and so we start talking about that one and it's it has all the ear stuff that he knows i'm a huge fan of superheroes martial arts uh comics uh manga like ev everything that that we uh you know mutually enjoy and so we feel like okay this is the one that we should uh you know develop and and you know because it just it was just flowing like all the different Definitely. possibilities were just coming to us um, he, you know, and this is sort of how we work on the book where, you know, Ray will throw out uh, some, some thoughts, ideas, things he wants to have happen. And I come back and I'm like, Oh, have you thought of this? Like, you know, here's a structure that, that could be good. Oh, here's a good character archetype that would fit into this very well, that type of thing. And, uh, eventually that becomes corner man. Uh, you know, the, the name, uh, the character, Jason Drexler, like it all just, uh, uh, synthesized so quickly and we were so glad to have uh, Zoop, you know, waiting in the wings to, to help us bring it to life, you know? And honestly, uh, Jordan, it was you. The first idea ah. we had, it was you. It was totally you. So I love that. Like, so Chris laid it out. So what happened when we changed the story or when I changed exactly what idea, it was after my conversation with you about Zoop. And uh, so you were the reason why we chose Corner Man instead of the other thing we're going to do. Instead of the better thing. Well, I don't know if it's better. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm I don't joking. know if it's better. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> this, is, this is way, way more fun. I mean, the other thing is, is, I guess, less fun. I don't know, Chris. But this is more fun. Like, <laughs> Corner Man is way more fun. Yeah. Well, when you when you first told us about Corner Man, uh, Eric and I, uh, my co-founder, for those who are listening, we were like, all right, we want to work on that project. That sounds really cool, because when you think about a Corner Man, right, I mean, really, the name comes from being like the coach, the manager uh, it, for like a boxer, right? Like you're 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 in the corner with that boxer, with that fighter. And I, one question I have is, is Jason Drexler, the, the main character of the story? Is he ever referred to in the book as Corner Man or the Corner Man, or that's just kind of like the title of the book kind of sums up <laughs> sums up like what what he is? I don't think that that it's not a name that he's called, but he is one. I'm not saying that any of the right, characters yeah. can't say, you know, oh, you know, he's 
he's like he's like our corner man you know um and which is it'll be like oh they said it they said the title <laughs> okay fair enough yeah like, like they never yeah, read, read to witch. find out yeah yeah like they never call scarlet like wanda they never call her scarlet witch until like you do hex magic and that makes you a scarlet witch all right sorry yeah yeah it's <laughs> something like that yeah yeah basically gotcha um well look, tell what can you tell us about jason drexler why is he the corner man how does he become how does he find himself in that position so chris you fielded this one last time i'll do this one. Oh man uh, now, i'm asking way too many of the same questions i'm gonna have to no 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 no, no these are good questions though these are good questions um so uh jason actually uh is a long-standing martial artist he has this gift uh that well i won't get into it and spoil that but it gives him a, a very specific um way of learning uh things and he uses it for martial arts uh he has done so much and, and learned so many hundreds of different martial arts uh over the years and he got to a point where he's like well uh i'm kind of done you know i'm kind of done with uh, the learning and the fighting and all these kind of things but I, what i really want to do uh, is not be in front uh you know and with the spotlight or anything like that uh so he's like well i'll just train and so he starts by training actors you know uh people who either want to get into good shape or uh you know uh, self-defense classes and stuff like that he wants to contribute these uh incredible skills to a certain point to the world but not necessarily be out in the world so he's very quiet and the government gets wind of some of his uh exemplary uh exceptional abilities and said hey uh we need that guy we need that guy to train our government team you know uh, and they bring him in and he's like okay this is fine but i'm never going to go out in the field i'll do this quietly nobody needs to know my name so that's how how uh jason gets into things you know and uh the government soon learns just how badass this dude is um but again he's like i'm doing this job and I'll, I'll teach these guys not to uh, go out there and look like buffoons. Um, but other than that, you know, don't, don't call me, don't talk to me, don't show up at my house. <laughs> We're not friends. This is a yeah, working relationship. Friends. Exactly. It's not that uh, I don't like you. I just don't want you to call on me for this. You, should have, I guess. you, got, you got people for that. And how do you see this story? Um, this is a single issue right single issue more like story. It's, it's kind of a yeah it, it is it's it's kind of a it's a, a trailer like an extended trailer for what we we want to do uh eventually basically um you know to kind of give you hey it's a pilot there you go the best way to look at this is like a pilot for a television show gotcha so like a zero issue for for the geeks among us yes exactly <laughs> And it's right, like, and like a like a super packed maxi uh, zero issue. Excellent. And so taking this to crowdfunding and specifically to Zoop, um, was this something that you wanted to retain ownership over, or you know, uh, go directly to to fans with? Like what you know, or were you just like, uh, I, I don't feel like pitching this to multiple publishers and see who picks it up, or like times are tough because of COVID or like what, you know, what was the, the impetus be behind getting it out there through crowdfunding? Uh, Chris, you take this and I, I'll, I guess, follow up with, with my relationship with Jordan and how this happened. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I think now is the, the best time, uh, you know, there's a million different platforms, uh, you know, it feels like new ones every day, you know, Zoop yeah. uh, has already uh, uh, really impressed myself uh, just watching the rollout of all the, the previous campaigns and um, uh, you know it's fun to be on the you know one, one of the, the top 10 the first 10 you know like making uh, making making ground here breaking ground and uh, you know uh, crowdfunding is hard you know it's I've run, <laughs> yeah. I've run I've run a campaign in the past Ray has in the past 
you know, we, we don't, uh, it's, it's not a, you know, it's not a young man's game. It's, you you got to know what you're doing and you got to have uh, a lot of skills and, and uh, you know, the guys at Zoop, Jordan, Eric, like the, the infrastructure you guys have provided so far is amazing and, uh, you know, unparalleled. And so I can't thank you guys enough for uh, helping us basically like, you know, sh shoot one with the gutters up, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Simplified this. Uh, yes. To, wow, to a where bowling it, reference. <laughs> yeah. You know. Jason can do everything. <laughs> we can do everything. <laughs> Absolutely. And so you, you're making it easy for us. So we're just focused on giving the people uh, this amazing uh, new, you know, first appearance of this character in this world um and and taking all the the guesswork and stuff out of it for us uh because you know we both ray and i have also other commitments that we're, we're juggling as well you know he's, he's doing marvel stuff i'm, I'm over in uh in tap tapas digital world so um uh yeah so uh where, where did you guys meet oh man jordan go ahead yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, man, it must be like five, six years ago at this Easily. point. At, definitely, at least. definitely five, six, probably six years, probably six years. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I had another startup called Comic Blitz, which was all digital comics, digital distribution app on your phone and iPad and uh, conventions, you know, raise a Southern California guy. So am I. And I would see him at like every convention and, you know, just start talking. And uh oh, you guys are frozen. Oh, uh, are we? Oh, I, all right. I got you now. I got you. But, um, I, I, you know, Ray was with Action Lab and then you were doing stuff with Lion Forge. And yes. I was always talking to Ray about like getting content on our platform. And he was, he was always talking about Midnight's Tiger. And, uh, and I wonder if like Corner Man was still percolating in like the back of your head, even back then. Cause I know you had, Maybe. You, you were like, you were like, I got other stuff that we <laughs> should talk about. And I don't know what those other things were. You were always very tight lipped. But if, if Corner Man is one of those things, this is like a very, very, very long, but like the circle came around and now like we finally get to work together on something. I'm, I'm really excited about that. I'm a fan of Ray's work and, and like love what he's been doing. And just honestly, like if you've ever met Ray, you probably like Ray as a human being as well. Super, <laughs> oh, super great guy. You. So Chris, you and I have never met in person yet. Everything's been like virtual and digital. So, but next, oh, next, next chance we get, let's go grab coffee drink whatever it is that you do and, and jordan if you like me you'll love chris uh, <laughs> so, yeah sounds good to me yeah so yeah it's basically what you said and you're it's and all honesty it, it's uh, true corner man but just a half of an idea a half maybe a half of a half of an idea was there all those years ago uh but it was more of um a question right and it was and it's funny because the way i approach chris with corner man is the initial thought I had about the idea called, you know, we never see these heroes train. <laughs> Who trains these guys, right? Um, and then the, it just stuck. And I was like, I think there's something there, but I'll, I have, you know, this other stuff going. So when you approached me and, you know, you guys uh, were looking for Midnight Tiger, <laughs> actually. Yeah, potentially at that point, yeah. Yeah, and but it's, the problem I'm having with that is it's stuck at Action Lab, and that's a whole other thing uh, that I have to deal with. But um, like I told you all those years ago, I got a ton of ideas and I need to move away from that. I, it's almost like trying to pull something that's stuck in the mud, right? It, it doesn't mean that it doesn't have value, but um, I can't get it right now. Sure. Right, I can't, I can't pull it. So here's a perfect opportunity for me to say, let me flex a little bit. You think that idea was good? I got five more that's better than that, right? <laughs> so, um, and and when you came to me with Zoop and what Zoop was about and who was behind it, uh, definitely you, you were already the first seller. So, you know, and I was already kind of batting people away, like, oh, I don't want to do that, you know. But when you came through um, and then, you you know, what I read and what I know uh, that's behind Zoop, I was like, holy crap. And then dealing with what I had to do with, with the Kickstarter, which is as creatives and being busy, we really can't take time off. There's yeah. no, you know, Chris and I, like he said, we're, we're super busy. Like we're probably juggling between three to five projects at a time. Um, but Kickstarter takes all your time, especially when you're doing a creation and you're doing the marketing and you're doing the, you know, all that stuff. It's insane. And when you're done, it's exhausting. And at the end of it, you may not get what you want. 
um, out of sure. it, right? It's 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 a gamble. Sometimes you know uh, you do a Kickstarter and it's gangbusters, and other times you know you like I did with that first Midnight Tiger uh, campaign. It was like I I failed upwards, uh, where <laughs> where it did it it met its goal, but I was one of those first groups where I didn't know about the shipping costs and I didn't know about all that stuff. And I ended up putting in maybe another three grand, you know, I had to go back to work. I had oh, to go, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was insane. Anyway, um, which is another reason that led me into Action Lab. And, and that was, uh, yeah. So, a story for another time. A story yeah. for another time. Uh, so I'm learning from those mistakes. Ownership is everything. Cause that's the, the beauty of Zoop, right? We still own everything. Um, right. you know, and, uh, and I love that we're in that first group in the first group of 10. And when you, you see people like, you know, Juan Mars and, and, uh, Rick Leonardi and, uh, you know, all these, uh, other creators that are on Zoom, you know, a lot of these folks were, you know, dare I say handpicked, right? <laughs> so, you know, it's similar stories that you and I have, you know, Ron, someone uh, that I've known for a real long time. Um, you know, we, we did a campaign with Des Taylor. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with yes, him, but like, yes, that dude's the coolest. Like, if you've never met Des, he's I met Des once like, or twice via Action Lab. Oh, interesting. Okay, but super cool guy. Pleasure to work with. You know, um, look, even the guys with with uh, our first campaign, Slow City Blues. You got a guy like John Livesey who's been in the industry for like 30 years. Exactly. Da I work with Dave John too. Yeah, David Barron's another guy that's been, you know, like around for 25, 30 years, something like that. You know, Bart Sears, who did a campaign. So, yeah, I mean, yes. you know, like, yes, it, we're working with people who have, you know, an existing library of work in their back pocket, you know, an existing fan base because we're not Kickstarter. You know, the doors are not quite open to everybody just yet. For us to, you know, put our hands on a project, it has to be worth it for everybody. So the fact that, you know, like, hey, oh, you know, I just worked on a little thing called X-Men this time. Like, no big, <laughs> no big deal, guys, you know, or like, oh, I edited, you know, like you said, Ghost Rider, Domino. You didn't even mention some of the other ones that I'll leave out. If you didn't want to mention it, I'll leave it out, too. But, you know, and, and yeah, that, that's kind of like who we're looking for and, and that we have faith in that, are, that like your campaign is going to do really well. And, and speaking of the campaign, tell, yeah, yeah. I know so. Tell tell the people what are some of the cool things, you know, some of the rewards, some of the tiers, some of the items that that incentives, whatever you want to call them, that are gonna be available and any information that you want to share. Now's the time. Awesome. Mr. Robinson. Sure. Uh well let's see, we're gonna have a uh special uh, main cover, obviously, version uh by Ray. Uh we're gonna have a special promo uh edition cover that you see. Um, that'll also be up on the page. If you, you know, that's probably the, the image you've seen at this point, like it's floating around. Um, we're gonna have a special a variant by Michael Shelfer, who is one of uh, the domino artists uh, who, who, you know, kept things going with, uh, with uh, Gail Simone and David Baldion, who's also contributing a, a variant cover. Um, they're gonna be special bundles that if you wanted all three, you know, it, it's there for you. Um, there's going to be, uh, oh, there's going to be some uh, special uh, editorial one-on-ones with me. I could, uh, you know, if, if you want to show me a pitch that you're working on, show me a story, story editing, just general comics advice, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do that. Uh, Ray is going to be offering a bunch of uh, uh, black cover variants that, um, sketches basically that uh, he usually only does at con. So like this is your one of the only ways to uh, to get these, and they look amazing. And there's going to be plenty of examples uh, to see what I, uh, to show you what I mean uh, on the web, uh, you know, on on the site. Um, what else is there? Anything I'm forgetting? Can I add about some some artwork that Ray maybe has? Yeah, I was going to mention that. I was going to mention that. I, I am going to, what's going to be available also uh, as rewards is some of my uh, Dr. Afra Star Wars Dr. Afra artwork. I'm also going to be doing uh, portfolio reviews uh, right. for, you know, it's an hour of my time. You know, you'd be able to send me some work and I'll give you the best advice on 
uh, not only on what you're doing right, but how to improve on, you know, getting in there and, and what your plans are. We'll talk about career advice. Where do you want to go? Do you want to do independent work? Do you want to work for the big two? Or what, you know, uh, and, and uh, yeah, I'll just uh, be happy to spend that time with you and kind of, you know, download the info that I've learned over the past 20 years. Very nice. And uh, for everybody listening, the link, I mean, if you're watching this on the Zoop YouTube channel, you probably are already aware of what the link is, but it's zoop.gg slash C slash cornerman. So go there, pick up your books, back this campaign, support these wonderful gentlemen. And one last thing, what do you guys have coming up? I know that there's a few projects, Ray, that I, you didn't even tell me about. I found out over Twitter that <laughs> that sound very exciting. So tell people what else you have coming up. And then Chris, tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on over at Tapas. Well, um, I have uh, Luke Cage City of Fire uh, that's popping up. So, um, you know, a couple of smaller things. I'm still doing Star Wars covers and everything. But uh, yeah, the, the biggest thing right now is uh, the Luke Cage and everybody seems to be super hyped uh, for me to be working with uh, Hochi Anderson on that. I'm super hyped about it. It'd be pretty cool. I've never gotten to draw uh, Luke. Uh, I did a, a redesign that the, the Rock used to kind of coax Kevin Feige uh, back in the day uh, but uh, this is a real deal you know what I mean so that's cool do you have a page in the FF tribute issue oh that's right that's right I'm I'm sorry that's what I, that's what I was talking about anniversary. I was like, yeah I was like oh yeah, right? yes I yes I, I'm in that just like I was in the uh, Captain America tribute issue um you know uh, uh Tom Brevoort was happy to tap me for this next one too so Sweet, um yeah, and it's it's insane. Is it a recreation of, of Fantastic Four number one? Number one and uh, the annual where Reed and Sue get married. And that's oh, wow. the portion I'm on. Awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm on that portion. Um, but yeah, like I'm, I'm looking at the names on these books. <laughs> it's insane. And I'm like, how did I get here? <laughs> well deserved, my friend. Well deserved. Chris? Sure. Um, now I got to follow that up, right? Jeez. Um, Sorry. So <laughs> oh, I forgot about the thing, Jordan. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm first. Of, well, first of all, I'm all like 100% so excited about Corner Man. I can't wait to for people to read it and to you know meet Jason Drexler, meet his sister, meet meet all the other characters that inhabit this world. I'm. Uh, it is truly like at the forefront of like you know I am working on like six six or seven other things, but like Corner Man is special. Yeah. Uh, okay, what else can I talk about? Um, okay, at, at Tapas, Tapas is a digital app. Go to uh, tapas.io. Uh, and then uh, we're going to be launching, there's a lot of comics on there for free and for premium, uh, uh, you know, prices, but we're going to be launching a, a creator online in, you know, the coming months. And so I, I can't tell you any titles yet. It's way too early for that. Um, but look for announcements um, for, uh, you know, brand new creator owned titles because every, everyone's looking for homes for, for projects. So um, uh, yeah, it, it's going to be exciting. Awesome. Chris, well, guys, thank you for taking the time about, out. I know, like you said, you're both juggling. Thing? Oh, sure. Yeah. The uh, I'm co-writing a graphic novel for, for Vince Staples, who's a, a Southern California rapper uh, 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 with uh, Brian Edward Hill and uh, Buster Moody on art. So that uh, that is going to be super exciting too. A uh, huge fan of Buster's art, and uh, Brian Edward Hill is, uh, you know, a very, uh, very in-demand writer. So uh, happy to just be like tagging along with those guys. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing, you guys. Hey, I know you're both super swamped with a ton of things, so I thank you for your time for doing this again. Zoop.gg/c/cornerman. Go support today. Thank you, guys. Thank you.